Hi, it's Rachel Smith with Compass Real Estate up here in Big Bear Lake. Today I wanna to talk to you about government leases. These are also known as recreation residences. And these are cabins on national forest land owned and taken care of by private parties. The land is not leased as many people believe, but rather permitted to the cabin owners. The special use permit does not convey any interest in real property, but it permits the owner to maintain the cabin on that national forest land that their cabin sits. Owners are responsible for using the land in accordance with all laws and regulations that govern the land. The Forest Service continues to manage the land to protect the resources. These cabins are not available for rent to the general public. They are privately owned, and in fact, their special use permits prevents them from being rented except with prior approval or used for other commercial purposes. So no weddings or anything out on these forest properties. Also, the, for, or the Forest Service does not sell these cabins. Occasionally, the owners will decide to sell, and these transactions are handled by local realtors, like myself. There are currently 728 recreation residences on San Bernardino, San Bernardino National Forest. These are authorized by recreation resident special use permits issued by the local district ranger. The lots are originally designated in the early 1900s for the construction of cabins to acquaint the public with the recreational opportunities of the national forest and originally referred to as summer homes um, because these are hard to get to in the winter time. The Forest Service does not permit full-time occupancy of the cabins. Cabin owners must maintain a full-time permanent residence somewhere else. Most cabin sales are handled by local realtors. The Forest Service is to be notified when a cabin is listed for sale. They do an inspection, and if there are any hazards or poor conditions known, they must be corrected prior to the close of escrow. The buyer must meet with the Forest Service prior to the close of escrow to go over the terms and conditions of the special use permit. In signing the permit, the new owner agrees to the terms of the permit. Each new permit is issued for the balance of time remaining on the existing permit. All permits on the San Bernardino National Forest are set to expire December 31st of 2028. The permit can only be issued to a single individual, a husband and wife, or a trust. Permits cannot be issued to corporations or businesses. The cabins are considered personal property rather than deeded property. If involved, an escrow company may contact the Office of the Secretary of State of California to check for outstanding loans and or liens the seller may have with the prior owner. The permit is not real property and does not convey any interest in real property and may not be used as collateral for a loan. These additionally have to be purchased all cash or owner carry. And since they are personal property, they are subject to annual unsecured personal property taxes. So what are the cost of these? There is an annual land use fee charged by the government. These fees are based on a few different things the land value on which the cabin rests is the main part. So the fees are based on appraisals, consider the location, the slope, the cover, the access, and the view. So they vary somewhere between $800 a year and $7,000 a year. Land use fees are adjusted annually based on national economic indicators and have averaged anywhere between a 2 and 4% increase per year for the last 15 years. Appraisals are conducted every 10 years and the lots were last reappraised in 2009. These fees are billed annually. Maintenance and improvements. The Forest Service realizes the need for certain amenities, electricity, telephones, why these requests are handled on a case-by-case -case basis. With respect to new or upgrading utilities, these services must be installed underground. All requests must be in writing and response time to requests for improvement varies depending upon current staffing levels and workload. After approval is obtained, permittees are required to obtain the necessary permits from the County of San Bernardino. 
All work on cabins on National Forest land must be done in compliance with the San Bernardino County Building and Safety Code. Until archaeological and architectural surveys are completed and evaluated, no plans for cabin additions and exterior alterations will be accepted. The management of the 21 tracks in which the cabins rest are designed to maintain the forest environment for the use of the cabin owners and the general public. With this in mind, there are certain restrictions. For example, fences and mailboxes you will not find, they are not permitted. Access roads are generally narrow and winding, conforming to natural terrain. Vegetable and flower gardens are not permitted. Paint colors allowed on cabin exteriors are chosen based on their ability to blend in with the forest environment surrounding the cabin. This is why you will find a lot of browns, greens, mainly yet. It is each owner's responsibility to keep their area in a fire safe condition. This includes pine needles and leaf removal from roofs, maintaining a 30 foot perimeter around the structure, clear of dead and flammable materials, spark arresters, no wood fires outside, etc. Random fire prevention inspections are done year round. If there are any deficiencies found, the owner could be subject to a citation. So this is all that I know about government leases. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My number is 909-744-2190. Talk to you soon. Bye.